Errol, come. Push! This is the foothills region of San Mateo County in Northern California. A small child has wandered away from her parents. Because of the hills and trees in this area, visibility is limited. Suzanne, a carefree, adventurous three-year-old, is typical of the many children who wander away from their families and become lost in remote areas of this county. When the child is not found, after many long minutes of frantic searching, the parents call for help. In San Mateo County, a roving patrol such as Deputy Sheriff Kronsky and Eero is sent to answer the call. Irv Pronsky has spent eight years with the Sheriff's Department, the last two in the company of Eero, a German Shepherd police dog. They work together as a team, each responsive to the other. The Sheriff's Department in San Mateo County uses police dogs to track missing children and fleeing persons, and to search for suspects in buildings and fields. Police dogs are also used to protect their master. A German Shepherd has poor eyesight, but extremely keen senses of hearing and smell. He is particularly effective at night. When working with Eero, Deputy Sheriff Pronsky can search a building or a field in a matter of minutes. It might take him several hours without the help of a police dog. The many hours of patrolman's time saved by using a dog more than compensates the county for the cost of purchasing and caring for the police dog. A routine building check during the night hours may disclose possible signs of forced entry. A door ajar, a broken lock, an open window. If the patrolman suspects the intruder is still inside the building, he will most likely put in an urgent call for the police dog unit. Deputy Sheriff Pronsky and Eero, working the night patrol, are called to check out the large warehouses on the Redwood City dock. Sergeant Sweeney covers the outside of the warehouse to prevent a suspect from escaping. Hero searches in response to his master's commands. Through his keen senses of hearing and smell, a police dog can search a building more effectively and more quickly than can an officer by himself, and with less danger to the officer. At least one police dog team is on patrol in San Mateo County at all times. This special unit has no fixed beat. It is free to go wherever it is needed. Through constant practice, the officer and dog work as an effective team. Hero is under voice control at all times. His commands are given in German. If a suspect in a building remains still and doesn't produce a weapon, the police dog will not attack him. The dog is trained to bark at the suspect to reveal his hiding place. The handler can then apprehend him. Hero is always under the complete control of his handler. Hero instantly obeys every command. In this dangerous work, the use of a police dog may someday save an officer's life. Gernot Rydell has worked with dogs most of his life, both in Europe and in the United States. He presently trains police dogs and their handlers for the San Mateo County Sheriff's Department. For him, it's just a hobby. He works full-time as an airline cargo supervisor. 
Each year, Rydell travels to Germany to screen and select police dogs for the county. Police dogs are bred and selected for their intelligence and gentle disposition. German shepherds possess these qualities and are used for police work all over the world. They can easily adapt to any climate and environment. The sheriff's deputies who volunteer to work in the police dog unit are carefully screened to make sure they can handle the dogs safely and effectively. German shepherds are given six months of basic training in Germany and are ready for police duty before they come to the United States. Rydell's job is to show the officer how to work with the dog. It takes up to six months of training before the officer and his new dog become an effective team. But their training never stops. They practice at least two hours each week under the expert direction of Rydell. As the German Shepherd is a friendly dog, he must be trained to become more aggressive so that he can protect the officer if the officer is attacked. The police dog, like any dog, loves his master. Through training, which emphasizes obedience, dependability, and control, the police dog is taught how to carry out his master's wishes. Thus, the police dog will attack only upon the command of his handler. Such a command is rarely needed. The presence of the police dog is usually sufficient to dispel violence. However, if the officer is attacked, the police dog is trained to come immediately to his aid. The police dog will protect his master. If once in his lifetime a police dog saves his master's life, he will have fulfilled his duty. His many hours of training will have been worth the effort. San Mateo County's sheriff's deputies are often asked to show their police dogs in action to school children throughout the county. These demonstrations give the police an opportunity to show the discipline and capabilities of their dogs. Here at the O'Connor Grade School in Menlo Park, Sergeant Sweeney and three deputies are about to begin the demonstration. Okay, good morning, boys and girls. I'm Sergeant Sweeney with the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office. These dogs are our four-footed policemen. They go to school just like you do for several years to learn their job and how to obey their masters. These dogs will only obey the voice of their master. Police dogs love to perform, and, as always, children love to watch them. Approximately two and a half years. I got a dog that's do anything. No, he's about a half. One. I know. He's three and a half now. What do you think of it? He's a good dog. You like him? Yeah, I like Hilo. He He's go better. Yeah, I like that dog. There's another little dog down over there. He's here to protect you, not to hurt you. There's a dog by the name of Mr. Betty's dog. Hero loves the attention. He's used to it. Each day after eight hours on duty, he returns home with Deputy Sheriff Pronsky to his family. Once joined, the dog and his handler are never separated. The dog sleeps at the house of the officer, is fed and trained by him, and accompanies him in all his police duties. By living at the home of his handler, the police dog remains in constant touch with people. The family environment encourages gentleness. By living with his master, the police dog develops greater loyalty towards him. Hero is four years old. Barring injury or sickness, he will continue in active duty for four more years. Then his career of service to the San Mateo community will be over and Hero will retire to the more leisurely life of a full-time family pet.
Irv's work is dangerous and rewarding. His family appreciates his devotion, both on duty as an officer and off duty at home as a father. And Eero, well on duty, he's an able assistant in law enforcement, but at home, he's just another member of the family.